Future and Drake and Thames wait for you has now sold over 2 million units in the United States. It is the fastest 2022 collaboration to reach this milestone. Big ups to our very own Thames. Since I've been doing very well, Thames is the hottest female international artist in Nigeria right now. We have so many female you know, artists who have been doing very well, Tiwa Savi, Yemi Alade. There are so many. The list is like endless. But when it comes to Thames, Thames have been doing very well in the international market. I mean, she's been selling since she did her collaboration with Whiskey. She also did a collaboration with Drake, all Drake's album Certified Lover Boy. And she did a collaboration with Future. Big ups to Thames. I mean, Thames has been doing very, very well. And uh, recently she won a BET award as the first African female artist to go home with a BET award. Thames has been doing very well. I mean, she's been putting smiles on her faces via our ears. Big ups to Thames. And, from the uh, from one of our lyrics or one of our his songs, crazy things are happening. We have so many crazy things happening in this country, Nigeria. But before I go into that, you're all welcome to this wonderful channel. You are welcome to your guest entertainment. You're giving hundreds of all the trends, all the happenings in Nigeria, Africa, and globally, especially in the entertainment industry. For those that are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so as to be updated whenever I upload hot trends. Let us now dive into Whiskey and you know, these guys have been doing very well. Recently, Whiskey celebrated his 32nd birthday. And we know Whiskey. He has always been Whiskey. He always keeps his things to himself. He is not this wild guy here yeah, when it comes to birthday celebration. He always liked doing his birthday in quotes. And recently, too, David was in a, a, a official state for his uncle's election. And big ups to singer David He putting his best to make sure his uncle won the election and yeah the video is all smiles right now because his uncle is the winner the uncle won the gubernatorial election in Oshun state talking about whiskey and the video someone dropped this message and i saw it quite interesting let me share with you guys that last year obi kubana used barrier swallow whiskey birthday this year the video don't use Oshun election swallow whiskey birthday Maybe whiskey go postpone the birthday next year. <laughs> yeah, we know we, we we all remember what happened last year during Big Kubana's mother's birthday, and it happened during this period where whiskey celebrated his birthday. Everybody was focused, you know, everybody's light or focus light was beaming at what happened in uh, Oba, you know, Anambra State, Big Kubana's hometown where he did his mother's birthday. And this year, everybody was focusing on what will happen in Oshun State. Well. But we know Whiskey. Whiskey doesn't, he is not, as I said earlier, he is he, he's not much of a celebrant when it comes to birthday. Okay. Well, big loss to Whiskey election. David congratulated President Muhammad Wari. And this came as a surprise to so many fans out there. Yeah, because right now we have three major political parties in Nigeria we have the APC, we have the PDP, and the Labour Party. For a desk of singer David, he actually dropped a message that you will last, you will leave a lasting legacy. God bless you for this act alone, sir. That came for a desk of David, he was he actually sent this message to President Muhammad Bari. After President Muhammad Bari dropped a message that I congratulate Senator Ademola Adeleke, candidate of the People Democratic Party, who is an opposition party to the APC to Buhari's party, on his victory in the Oshun gubernatorial election. The people of Oshun have expressed their will through the ballot. This is what democracy is all about. Respect for the will of the people. The successful conduct of Oshun this 2022 is a demonstration of the maturity and commitment of all stakeholders towards strengthening the integrity of the electoral process in Nigeria. And the video had to congratulate President Muhammad Ibari for dropping this. Yeah, the message came as a surprise from Mr. President and it came as a surprise too from the uh, singer, the video. Talking about Buhari's uh, achievement, what Buhari did at the just concluded election for the message he sent, someone dropped this message that you can criticize President Muhammad Buhari on many things. But one thing he's doing very well is allowing INEC showcase his true independence. He doesn't put pressure on INEC or rig elections for his party. What do you have to say regarding that? Please don't forget to the music and entertainment industry. Let's talk about portable. 
since Portable came to Long Line with his Zazuzel song, the guy has been trending. Francesco Portable, he said, I didn't mean to campaign for APC because he campaigned for APC during the Osun uh, concluded election, while David was campaigning for uh, uh, PDP. And yeah, during the election, David had to unfollow Portable. <laughs> According to Portable, he said, I didn't mean to campaign for APC. It was a show that to, they told me rather that I'm going to. And what I meant by 1 million boys is meant 1 million followers. Singapore Portable gives more clarity on his APC campaign and 1 million boys right here. Singapore Portable came up online and told us about the 1 million boys that he is the, uh, the founder, the person who founded 1 million boys. And Portable dropped this message shortly after the IGP orders investigation into Portable's claim of forming one million boys called group. Yeah, Portable actually said he was the one that formed the group. The Inspector General of Police, Usman Al Kali, the Baba has ordered an investigation into the claims made by Singapore Portable that he formed the notorious group, one million boys terrorizing some parts of Lagos State. Portable made a claim in a viral video that he has now deleted. The statement released yesterday evening, you know, by the spokesperson of the, the force, says the IGP has ordered Lagos State's Commission of Police, Biodum Alabi, to investigate the indicting statement and take necessary legal action. Well, according to Portable, he has said that what he meant was something different from the uh, the translation. Well, that is Portable for you. What do you have to say regarding that? I think this guy should just calm down. Since he came to Landlight, he keeps he has, he has doing everything to train, having issues with his promoters, producers, what is really happening. Well, regarding the drama that's going on around Portable right now, Daniel Rega said, Olamide needs to caution Portable, and Obi Kobana needs to do the same since he is representing his brand. Portable is constituting a nuisance lately. The police should also arrest Portable immediately and bring him to justice for saying he founded the One Million Boys robbery gang. What do you have to say? Are you in support with what uh, Daniel Rega just said regarding Portable? Yeah or nay? No? Please don't forget to drop your comments on the comment section below. Well, recently there's been this thing that's been happening, not just yet, it's been happening in Nigeria. We see so many actresses going into politics. Well, we have this news. That towards 2023, Sao Rest, Rest Party AAC unveils businesswoman Caroline Danjuma as a Kwaibon governorship running mate. The African Action Congress AAC, a Kwaibon state chapter, has unveiled Mrs. Caroline Danjuma as a running mate of his governorship candidate, Mr. Iboro Otu, in the 2023 general elections. Well, Don DK will be running as deputy governor in uh, uh, River State. I should also recall that Funke Akindele will be running as deputy governor under the People's Democratic Party in Lagos State. Wow, <laughs> Nigeria is moving forward. Nigeria is really moving forward. Will you, if you are from, um, let us say, Akwaibu State, would you vote for AAC because of Dan Juma, or would you vote for Tonto DK's party if you are from River State, or would you vote for PDP because of uh, Funke Akindele? We know when she was interviewed, she said she asked millions of followers which is true and that she is certain that the that the her party which is pdp will win the election in lagos please don't forget to drop your comments on yeah, this lady sure. this man rather that has been trending he was homeless and the pastor came assisted him gave him accommodation gave him a place to stay and since then ladies have been flocking in they want to marry they want to spend the less of their lives with him i keep asking myself why well, is it that Nobody approaching when he was homeless. Yeah, he's an actor. Well, we have this news that lady shows up in church for actor Aguba. The actor's name is Aguba. He would have been homeless and he was assisted by a pastor. A lady has shown his a lady who has shown interest in marrying once homeless actor Kenneth Agaba showed up at the Omega Power Ministry in Porta Court wearing his face on a t-shirt, as you can see from the picture. The lady, Anastasia Michael, has indicated interest when the founder of the church, Chibuzo Chin Yere, who had given Aguba a home, announced his willingness to marry a wife for him. In her latest updates on Facebook, Michael said she had not been able to find Aguba 
She said, I have searched for my husband, Abuba, in OPM ground, but couldn't find him there. OPM church is too, too big. I will go to OPM Free Estate tomorrow morning to see him there. I will see my joy giver, Aguba. <laughs> and from what Aguba said, he said he doesn't want to marry a Nigerian. He wants to marry a virgin, specifically a virgin from Israel. And we see so many ladies right now wanting to marry Aguba in Nigeria. Why were you guys not following him when he was homeless? What is really happening? People have, have been complaining that so many ladies in this country, yeah, not just Nigeria, is it just a Nigerian thing? Globally, they just want a ready-made man because this guy, he was not made. Now he's made. The pastor gave him a house and the pastor has promised to fund his wedding. And ladies, some were even fighting to get married to Aguba. Is that real love? Don't forget to drop a comment below. Let us move on to the United States of America and let's talk about one of the hottest musicians on the planet, Jennifer Lopez. Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck get married in Vegas. Wow. Jello is married. This is not her first. This is like this have been trained not just in Nigeria but globally. Uh, Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck, they had a thing before they got engaged and they couldn't get married. But right now, they've been engaged and married. We hope this one will last. But will it last? We know Jello. Thank you guys for watching the statements. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so as to stay afloat so as to stay updated whenever I upload all things when you come to take care of you. And don't forget to drop a comment on the comment section. Have a lovely day.